Mounds of research shows that preschool matters. Tamika LeCluze is a parent and a pre-K teacher. The kids that have access are just better prepared for elementary school. They're more social. They have experience with other adults um, in their development and their growth. And I think that that just makes more well-rounded children and, and children that are able to be successful academically as well as behaviorally and, and socially. Assembly member Kevin McCarty knows firsthand the importance of access to early childhood education. My mom was low income, single mom with four kids and we were able to go to a, a subsidized preschool program at a church in the neighborhood. And uh, that helped prepare me for kindergarten. Kids that go to preschool are you know, way more likely to get a high school diploma and way less likely to end up in juvenile hall. The California state budget currently provides funding for free early education to around 175,000 low-income and middle-class children. Assemblymember McCarty wants to expand that. We're looking to expand on our existing uh, preschool infrastructure and make California pre-K for all state. You know, there are states across the nation that do this. Republican states and Democrat states. And California leads in so many issues, but this one, we're way behind. He's introduced a Pre-K for All legislative package. Composed of three bills, the Pre-K for All package has three major goals. Implement targeted universal preschool, create new preschool facilities, and reform reimbursement rates for early childhood education programs. AB 123 would expand access to preschool for all four-year-olds living in low-income neighborhoods and all three-year-olds living in poverty. We have a beautiful preschool right here in this neighborhood and in my district, but unfortunately, there are hundreds of kids who live around here who don't have the money to come to this preschool. And so that is a shame, it's morally wrong, but it's bad for our economic future. You know, we need to have a well-educated workforce, and it all starts with early education. AB 124 would place a $500 million bond on the 2020 ballot to build new preschools and retrofit existing ones. And AB 125 reforms reimbursement rates in a way that's consistent and allows for better compensation for teachers and providers. Yeah! High five. High five. We have to prioritize our kids. When I look at these kids, I see a future that is bright. I don't see a future that's behind bars. I don't see a future that is on the streets or homeless. I see a future that is bright. And the little bit that we put in now is going to go so far in the future.